back. And today I'm going to basically be doing a drawing. Uh, I'm going to be doing part nine of the Carrara car modeling tutorial of this BMW. So where we last left off, we did this entire top piece. So now what I'm probably going to be doing, honestly, is start to actually look at this and start to actually kind of basically actually, uh, let me try to get rid of this right here. So... That, that's one of the pieces that we're going to work on, I think, right there is that, I think. So that, I would say. And... I mean, they're not the most clearest image, I would say. So we're going to start doing this now. So what I'm probably going to do, honestly, is start going into the add tool. Go left right here. Just go into here and go direction. And I think that's good. See so here dislocked. So I'm just gonna go into here and move along right here. Left. Director's camera right here. So that's going to be Y. Copy that. Top. Pizza, CTRC, CTRV, so we're going to basically, you're right, move that right there. Because we want to kind of put kind of an indent ledge right there, kind of like that. And just want to put like something right here. Go add right here. So imagine that it goes right there. CTRG. 
Teaching Link. And I just like right click on that and then I'm just going to go in here and just go dissolve. Right-click Add. Chain. I'm just going to go into here and go G. And just add some div division in here because I want to try to make this exactly like the actual picture itself in a way. So I just move that right there. Go left. I'm just going to go in here. So that's what I want. And put something right here. Top. And I'm just going to go extract along like this, like that, because this piece is going to be separated. And then I'm just going to go into here, face, just working on this top piece before I go into here. Actually, I'm going to select a brush tool like that. So 
So I want to make sure everything's selected. And then I'm just going to go into here and extract along right here. And just kind of do inner extract like that. Actually, I'm going to select this too as well with the polygon paintbrush tool. <clears throat> and select that entire region right there. And just like kind of hit like the extract along. And just go extract along too like that. Sometimes it would work like that, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to go left. I'm just going to go target. Select us.
So I'm just kind of just selecting nests and kind of just working with this in a way. Like working with... So kind of like working with the model. I'm actually going to actually select this. Select that. And just only work with one half right here. So when I go into here and can connect as one line piece I would say and then what you would do basically is go into here and connect that Actually, we're actually going to go target weld and weld that right there and go in here, go dissolve. Sometimes it's better to do this than that, I would say, and that's it. You, you still have four polys, I mean, right here. I mean, I mean, you just add an extra subdivision right there, which doesn't even hurt. Basically, four polys. That's, that's the main general rule when you're doing any type of modeling is always model with four poly. And then, like, you're right. You would add, like, kind of a subdivision right here in the middle. And you kind of connect this with this, I would say. And you're, you're probably going to go into here and go dissolve. And 
And that's still for for a poly. I mean, by poly. Actually, we're gonna actually go in here. See one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. Doesn't hurt like that. And that's four poly, four poly right there, basically. And that's what what you would mainly would do. And that's the actual car itself, ready to be used, I would say. Like that. And ready to do that, I would say. And that's what I do right there. So now what I want to try to do is kind of go into here and kind of like separate this in a way, like kind of like that in a way. Only one half I'm going to do basically. So that I'm probably going to start straighten it like, like this and start straighten this out like that and start straighten these out basically. And that's in. Just go in verse, hide, just going to go delete, take off symmetry, delete, smooth,
That's why it's Carrera's basically the reason Carrera's basically box selection and like like lasso selection is a lot more different basically from other software selection. So you don't have to worry about that. So copy and then we just go delete and we're just going to go paste like that. Should have selected both of these at the same time, but I kind of didn't want to lose a selection at all of the other one. Copy right here. And then we're just going to hit delete. And those are the shortcut keys. Paste. And that's it. We have that already done. So now since we go here, we just go into here and we're just going to go hide right here. I mean, I'm sorry if this is a little bit too long. I'm almost done on this, I would say. I'm sure I'm going to have that up. And then what I'm going to do is go into here and go into move along right here. Now is basically doing this actual infrastructure. So now I'm just going to go into here and go into extract along. Target weld and just weld that right here. And I'm just going to go extrude. And hold down the CTR key. And right click move. And just move that like this. Like that. Right click so that doesn't extrude. Right click move. I know they, sh they should have actually put like an extrude function for right click, you know, like for, for, for right click, like have like all the shortcut keys on there. I would say, I guess they kind of already do. Like H is like dynamic extrusion, I would say. So it's like, so I'm just going to go into here, weld. 
Or another sh shortcut key is CTR Shift W. CTR Shift W. So why is it not working? Hmm. 